If you were outside early this morning, you know it was another chilly start in the mountains. And if you were standing in water, you really <laughs> knew it was a chilly start. But as you'll see in my Never Stop Learning report, this was an outdoor adventure, all in the name of science. Oh, Eighth graders test the water, so to speak. They use a basketball to check the flow of the stream. They're also doing chemical tests and measuring the width of the banks. For three weeks, about 300 students at Cane Creek Middle School will study the water. They'll gather data, analyze it in the classroom, and then write a report about their findings. The science classes at Cane Creek have taken part in this activity for more than 10 years, and the students love it. I enjoy it because it's more hands-on, uh -huh. sitting at a desk and taking notes. It's a lot better getting to actually um, do the labs and see it all happening rather than just uh, looking at pictures and stuff in a book. Stonefly, mayfly, dragonflies, couple of Dobson flies. I got two fish. Excellent. Two fish? <laughs> two fish. I'll take them. The students okay. also caught insects as a way of checking the water quality. The school says the program is a huge success thanks to organizations like Riverlink, the North Carolina Science House, the Buncombe Soil and Water Conservation, as well as volunteer teachers and parents. Well, now, you know me. I know, for me, that water would have been very cold. Oh, oh. It, it was cold. What did the kids think? Well, they thought it was cold. <laughs> okay. It was 51 degrees, the water, which actually the outside temperature was 47, so they were better off in the water, so to speak. Okay. <laughs> but there were no complaints. They said before long they got used to it and that if their teachers could do it and the students before them could do it in years past, they could do it.